In this lesson, we're going to discuss the uh, hormonal regulation of our blood glucose levels. And the simplistic little drawing that I have here, of course, is our pancreas. Uh, the pancreas, of course, the primary endocrine gland that will help us regulate glucose levels. And um, as we get started, as we kind of normally do, I, of course, this is an endocrine gland. It secretes into the bloodstream, so this is a capillary um, bloodstream. And I'm going to draw a line to separate two. And we're going to begin ourselves if we have, we're going to begin with blood glucose being too high. So we're going to have elevated blood glucose levels. The glucose levels are just way too high. Now, this is something that we want to keep under regulation because we know that this results in diabetes if it goes unchecked. So we're going to begin with a hormone that's secreted by the endocrine pancreas that will go into the bloodstream. And this hormone's name is insulin. So if our blood glucose levels are too high, insulin will be secreted from the pancreas and insulin will diffuse into the bloodstream. And once we are there, it's going to have a fairly dramatic impact, kind of a fourfold impact to lower our blood glucose levels. And one of the first things we just want to show um, is if we can get rid of it, and we kind of think about many of these hormonal milieus, if we want to lower something, again, think about this as if it were a bathtub. And if you have too much water in your bathtub, one of the first things you want to do is turn off the faucet. Because if the water's running, well, we got to stop putting water in it before we lose it. So let's do that. So what we're going to do, we're going to, de we're going to increase the absorption uh, of glucose. And this is one way in which we can do that. So you can either turn, turn, open the stopper up, turn the faucet off, uh, turn the faucet on, uh, turn the faucet off and stop letting water in, um, and uh, also use up this glucose. And these are some things that we can do with it. So we're going to increase our glucose absorption. We're going to absorb it. We're going to use it up, get it into our body somewhere else, absorb glucose. So if you can absorb glucose, then you're going to get it out of the bloodstream. Now, um, if you can look at that and imagine that we can accelerate the, uh, uh, the production of ATP. Now, we all know that uh, uh, increase ATP production. Um, if you increase ATP, ATP production, remember the primary thing we use to make ATP is glucose. So that will help to uh, lower glucose. This is also, um, you know, you can also urinate the glucose um, using kind of a very similar mechanism. Now, what if we stimulated glycogen production, upregulate Glycogen. Now, glycogen is if we it, glycogen is a polysaccharide made up of glucose. So, if we take a bunch of this circulating blood glucose and we stick it all together, we make glycogen. So now we are lowering it. And one of the lo last things you can do with it is upregulate triglyceride formation. Make some triglycerides. This is how fat stores glucose in the form of triglycerides. So if we increase triglycerides, if we increase the production of glycogen, if we stimulate ATP production, we burn up glucose, and if we increase the glucose's absorption, all these things will result in lowering the blood glucose levels back to homeostasis. So that's all well and good. Now let's imagine now that we have our blood glucose levels are low. We have low glucose levels. We need to raise our blood glucose levels up. Well, we, of course, will use the pancreas again. We're going to secrete a hormone. This hormone's name is glucagon. And glucagon is uh, the guy who's going to help us to raise it. This is a little bit more simple, but let's look at this. We can do a few things. Now, if we have used up glucose to lower it, if we want to raise it, we got glucose stored up. Let's break down glycogen. Let's break down glycogen. Now, how would that raise it? If we break down glycogen, glycogen is made up of glucose, we release more glucose in the blood. So we can also do some other things. Well, you look at this, do we somehow produce glucose? Can we stimulate the, uh, stimulate glucose production by the liver? 
so we can upregulate up glucose production. Um, and one of the other things you can do is break down is break down triglycerides. Your triglycerides, of course, store triglycerides store um, your glucose and fat. So if we break down triglycerides, we're going to be releasing glucose. So this is going to have the overall impact to then raise our blood glucose levels. And so this is how we will maintain glucose homeostasis. So uh, guys, we hope you find these videos helpful, these little tutorials. Of course, we draw these out in lectures, so you guys have all seen this before. But I hope you find it helpful to go back and look at it again and have it explained a little bit more. Uh, of course, not as much time spent as we will in lecture, but I hope you find these videos helpful. Thank you.